Hi there, it's Adria from KajabiExperts.com. This week, there was some really good news and the guys from Kajabi released the Zapier integration with Kajabi. What is this? How does, the, how does this work? Well, this video, I'm going to show you exactly that. So, as you should know, with Kajabi, we can connect our platform with other platforms. If you don't know that, please check this video here that explains exactly that, what are the webhooks and what they help us with Kajabi. With that in mind, we know that with Kajabi, we can connect other platforms. So before, the only way to do that was to build our own code or our own code that was dealing with the integration or either use the Zapier webhooks. Now with the release of the Kajabi Zapier integration, it's much easier to do that. For that, you need to use Zapier, but with the basic plan, you are covered. Let's see how this new Kajabi integration inside Zapier will help us and how it will allow to easily build our integrations with other platforms. If you did a Kajabi with Zapier integration before, you already know that you had to get uh, the webhook inside the Zapier dashboard. Uh, and then you needed to add that URL inside Kajabi. Well, I'm not going to go over this because this is no longer necessarily unless you want to do something that is not included in the Kajabi integration with Zapier. Now, with the integration with Zapier, you can easily do it in a different way. The first thing that you need is to have Kajabi enabled, enabled in Zapier. If you don't have it, go now to the Facebook group, to the Kajabi Facebook group and check the a link that Amber was providing, I think it was yesterday or the day before, where she was uh, adding a link to beta testing the Kajabi integration with Zapier. Once you've done that, go back to zapier.com and create a new Zap. The, fir the first app that we want to choose, the trigger app, this time will be Kajabi. So we're going to search for Kajabi. It says here it's in beta, so we're going to select it and we need to select a trigger. Right now they offer us two triggers. First one is the new purchase. These triggers when someone purchases an offer in new Kajabi as the description says here. So whenever someone purchases something in Kajabi, the trigger in Zapier will, will be fired and you will be able to react on that trigger. Second one is a new form submission. So when someone submits something inside your Kajabi uh, account, so inside marketing, they have a form and they submit the form, you're gonna receive the trigger here. I'm gonna select the new form submission so we can see an example of the form submission. We're gonna save and continue. And we have to connect our account with Kajabi if you haven't done that before. If you have done that before, you will select the current account. I'm going to connect my account now and here I have my account set up. Next we hit save and continue and we get the site ID and form ID. If you have several sites, you have to choose here which one do you want to proceed. If you have just one site, then it's easier. As you see, I have the Skills Airport site and the Kajabi Experts site, so I'm going to select Kajabi Experts. Now we have to select the form ID. I'm going to click here and we have here all our forms that we have in marketing. If you don't know where to find that, those forms or where to create them, you can go to your site, marketing, opt-in forms, and here you have the forms. I'm going to select the demo form here, this one, and continue. Now, it tells us that we have to have at least one reset form submission. Well, uh, I don't know if I already did that, but it's easy. If you're not sure if you already did that or not, just go to your form, in this case, the demo form. And uh, preview. And from here, you can do a submission. So I'm going to say Adria, Adria at adriahimenez.com and submit. So with this, we just did a test submission. We're going to hit fetch and continue, sorry. 
and it says test, test successful, we can continue. Now we can choose what do we want to do with this data. You're free to do whatever you want. Zapier, as you know, has hundreds of different applications. So you can connect your form with whatever application, for example, like I do with ConvertKit or with MailChimp, with Trello, with Slack, with Salesforce. I mean, there are so many different applications. Uh, for example, Infusionsoft, we have here, we have Active Campaign, we have Google Docs, uh, Google Sheets, Google Calendar. I mean, you can do whatever you want. Like, for example, saving your first submission in Dropbox, in a Dropbox file, or whatever you want. This is uh, out of this video. So I just wanted to show you how you can use the Kajabi trigger. Same will work for the different trigger. So instead of new form submission, you can say new purchase and you can use the purchase data from Kajabi. Pretty simple, right? Well, if you have any questions, as always, write a comment below the video. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button in the video. And uh, what I'm doing always, uh, if you have any video suggestion or you have questions or whatever, just write a comment below the video or shoot me an email and I will do my best to help. Also, uh, thank you for all the subscribers of the channel. We are now more than 200 subscri subscribers and I'm uh, really motivated with following those videos and creating new ones. So, as I say, if you have new ideas for new videos, just write a comment below and I will do my best to create a video explaining exactly that. Thank you.